Do you have dark patches of skin around your neck and in your armpits? If so, this is a strong indicator of insulin resistance. These dark, dry patches of skin are known as acranthosis nigricans, and they are caused by high insulin levels. The good news is when you start addressing insulin resistance and making the changes necessary to reverse it, these dark patches of skin can lighten and even go away entirely. But this is not the only side effect of insulin resistance that people don't realize is related. So in today's video, I'm going to be telling you about four more unexpected side effects of insulin resistance to watch out for. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Kate. I'm a certified health and nutrition coach. I post videos twice a week here on YouTube talking all things insulin resistance, weight loss, sleep, and more. So if you're ready to take control of your metabolic health, make sure to click that subscribe button. And you can also find me on TikTok and Instagram where I share new posts every single day. Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. For everything from websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one place that does it all. Head to squarespace.com forward slash healthcoachkate to start your free trial today. Insulin resistance is extremely common, but unfortunately it goes largely undiagnosed. It is estimated that at least 40% of American adults have insulin resistance, and that number could be as high as 88%. And the numbers for other Western countries are similar. A lot of the side effects that we often write off as associated with aging are actually caused by insulin resistance. But as I said, it goes largely undiagnosed because doctors are not routinely testing fasting insulin. The reason they don't test it is because they are taught that looking at fasting glucose or fasting blood sugar is a strong enough biomarker. But the reality is, is that insulin levels start to rise up to a decade before fasting glucose does. The excess insulin is enough to keep our fasting blood sugar in check. So your labs might look normal, despite you having unexplained side effects, such as the dark patches of skin we mentioned at the start of this video. Now, by the time your fasting blood sugar does start to rise, insulin resistant has already been running rampant for years. And it's at this point that you're gonna be diagnosed as pre-diabetic or even type two diabetic. But wouldn't you want to address the root cause years before if you could? before it gets to the point where you're pre-diabetic, type two diabetic, or worse. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you five unexpected signs of insulin resistance so you can start making changes today, if necessary. Number one, acanthosis nigricans. We've already talked about this one a little bit, but I just want to expand on it a bit more before moving on. These dark, dry patches of skin are long known to be associated with type two diabetes. And it is because the root cause of both of these things is high insulin levels. Number two, low or high testosterone. If you're a man, low testosterone can be caused by insulin resistance. And if you're a woman, high testosterone can be caused by insulin resistance. And low testosterone for men comes with the side effects of a low sex drive and even erectile dysfunction. Let me explain. For men, high levels of insulin inhibit the body from making testosterone correctly, so they lower the concentration of it. For women, high insulin has the opposite effect. It actually stops the body from converting testosterone to estrogen when it should. So women are left with high testosterone and low estrogen as a result. For women, this high testosterone can cause side effects such as excess body hair, irregular periods, acne, and even infertility and it also causes PCOS. So if you're experiencing any of the side effects of low testosterone for a man or high testosterone for a woman, this can be a sign of insulin resistance. Number three, hard belly fat. Now, if you are someone who carries a lot of weight around their midsection, and if some of this fat is hard to the touch, this is a really, really strong indicator of insulin resistance. And even if you can't feel or see it from the outside, there could be a buildup of this type of fat on the inside, which you can see on DEXA scan. This type of fat is known as visceral fat, and it is directly related to insulin resistance. I recently did a whole video on visceral fat and why it's so difficult to lose, which I will link above if you wanna check that out afterwards. But the reason that it's so difficult to lose 
is because it is caused by insulin resistance. Simply eating less isn't enough to target it directly. Because you can gain or lose visceral fat without making any changes to your calorie consumption, without even adjusting your macros. What makes a difference is if what you're eating and the actions you're doing are improving insulin sensitivity or worsening it. For example, fructose, which is a type of sugar, is shown to be more likely stored as visceral fat when we overconsume it, whereas glucose, which is another type of sugar, is more likely to be stored as subcutaneous fat when we overconsume it. And subcutaneous fat is the squishy fat that we store all over our bodies. This type of fat is basically your body's stored energy and it's relatively harmless. Visceral fat is the dangerous stuff. Now, before we get into the final two unexpected signs of insulin resistance, I'm going to take a quick moment to tell you about today's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is a platform for all of your online business needs. Beyond allowing you to build and customize a website, you can also manage mailing lists, send out email campaigns, host an online store and accept transactions, and that's just scratching the surface. I've been using Squarespace for years, ever since I launched my online coaching business, and I cannot recommend it enough. You can give it a try for free by heading to squarespace.com forward slash healthcoachkate. You don't have to enter your credit card details or anything, and you can start a seven day free trial. Now, when you build your website and you test everything out and you love it, which I know you will, you can use code healthcoachkate to save 10% off your first order. Thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Number four, skin tags. Now, I've done a few videos on skin tags and how they are directly associated with insulin resistance over the last couple of months. And every time I talk about this relationship, I get so many comments from people who didn't realize there was a connection. And not only that, but that since they've started making changes to improve their insulin sensitivity to reverse insulin resistance, their skin tags have shrunk or gone away entirely. That's right. Just like the dark patches of skin, when you address insulin resistance and start to make improvements, skin tags can go away. A common myth is that skin tags are caused by friction, which they aren't. And number five, low HDL cholesterol. HDL is often referred to as the good type of cholesterol because it has protective benefits. However, when we have insulin resistance, our HDL decreases and our triglycerides increase. So much so that our triglyceride to HDL ratio is actually a really strong indicator for insulin resistance. So if you have a recent cholesterol test, you can take a look for these markers. Independent of if LDL is high or low, you want your HDL to be high and your triglycerides to be low. These are much stronger indicators of not only insulin resistance, but also overall health and your disease risk. Again, independent of LDL. And those are the five unexpected signs of insulin resistance. Let me know in the comment section down below if you have any of these signs and if you knew they were related. And if you're wanting to make a change and start reversing your insulin resistance, I'm gonna link a video up above on how to get started. If you're looking for a little bit more guidance and support, you can work with me through my insulin resistance masterclass. This is a seven day program where I've condensed all of the relevant info. It also comes with a seven day sample meal plan and you get access to a private Facebook group where we can work together and I can offer you support. I'm gonna link that up above as well. And one more thing before you go, remember to check out Squarespace for all of your online business needs. Now, if you did enjoy this video, you might also enjoy my video on foods that cause skin tags. You can check that out here. If you wanna catch up on my most recent upload, you can find that here. And if you wanna check out my coaching programs, including my seven day insulin resistance masterclass, you can find those here. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.